Hey guys, RC here. This is episode one of our Kingdom of Amalur Let's Play. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to tweak my channel a little bit. Uh, we are going to go to Football Manager daily, Monday through Saturday. And then Graveyard Keeper, I'm going to continue to play when I have time. And so uploads on that will be sporadic, but I know a few of you do like to watch it, so I will keep it going. But that way I can try to play ahead and get some things done in-game to where you're seeing new stuff without me doing a lot of repetition, which is what it is right now, trying to stay on that schedule. I think this game is... I haven't done an RPG style game on my channel before, so I've been enjoying playing this one. And so we're going to give it a go and see see what happens. Uh, so basically these will be 30 minute episodes, but what I will probably do is play Marathon, because usually I, when I play this, I play a couple of hours. So what I can do is record that all in one go and then have episodes to upload. Not sure they'll be consistent, but they'll be, you know, probably a couple a week, couple per week. Um, anyway, we'll see how it goes. Everything's always open to interpretation and revisiting uh, my decision-making process. All right, we've leveled up. You see it says hit escape, and now we have a level up option here. So just a reminder, this is a character called the uh, Nightblade. So basically it's a six-tier uh, development for the character. If you've watched, uh, I put two other episodes up. One was uh, just a walk through the tutorial with this character, and one was a lock picking uh, and skills uh, discussion and here's your skills so you can see we get one point you only get one point per level so what we're going to do here is we're going to make a run up detect hidden as far as we can up to five points i really only think you need you know you only need five to really kind of open the game up because that opens up secret doors in dungeons and places like that where you can get additional loot. So you can see we start with one Detect Hidden, uh, actually two Lock Picking and one Mercantile. That is because of the race that we chose for our character. So these do switch around somewhat, but we're going to go ahead and choose that second point. And then we have Sorcery, Might, and Finesse. Now you start with one in each category and that's basically from the tutorial and we will be able to refund these points that we don't want to use here at a later time. It doesn't benefit us right now, but what we want to do is we do want to go into finesse and we want, we, you get three points here per level. So might is your warrior, heavy, heavy armor, sword, hammer, that type of class, sorcery, wearing robes, using a lot of magic, that's that, finesse is your rogue style, lighter armor, uh, and then uh, daggers, uh, fey blades, and bows. So we're going to take one point in precise weaponry, and if we scroll down here you can see that we currently have level zero of three, and at the next level, we will open a, a Shadow Strike uh, to release the daggers to begin a dashing combo or a Twisted Claw that you can hold and release your Fey Blade. So whichever one you choose. We're going to open that just with one point. And then you have the option in the build to add more points if you like it, but it's not required. We're also going to open one point in Dagger Mastery because we want the option to go to Feyblade and you need at least one point here. Actually, I don't think you do. Uh, but we, we are going to be using Daggers in the early going. And then we want Bow Mastery. This is your top priority. 
and you can see getting that gives us two two extra physical damage with longbows plus five damage with longbows and increases our max arrows by one and that is going to be one we're going to want to max out so that's our first choices here we will confirm that and then close it we have not gotten a destiny yet and we will and we'll talk about that all right let's swap over remember that's the q button or you can use the middle mouse wheel and we're just going to break open all these and we have no quest now we can talk to these people there's really nothing they're going to do for us they don't give us any other quest and we're going to jump into the water over here anytime you have water check it out for these little circles and you can usually loot those and pick something up and what i want to do hit q switch back to our bows now you can look at the map we've got this cave here and there are five creatures inside And that's basically our that's our attack process we're gonna fire our arrows gain you know gain as much damage as we can swap over to our melee weapons whatever it is we're using and wait for the arrows to replenish Bounce out of combat by dodging away, going back to the bow, and repeating. So here we have lockpicks and pristine lockpicks. Pristine lockpicks are unbreakable uh, or more durable. Uh, but remember, if uh, in the skills, I don't recommend any points in lockpicking. We do have one. We have two just from our race, so that helps us a little bit right out of the get-go. But just buy lock picks. They're really cheap and we'll have a lot of gold later in the game. So basically, wherever the pick starts, just slide it. Honestly, a lot of times that will be enough to open it. If it's not, you know, you'll see how I handle that and uh but you can also go over and watch my tutorial video now you can see there it was real close to the end so i didn't have to move it very far we just moved it a little bit all right now i have not covered this in a tutorial so this is a dispel so we're going to open this and You'll notice it has one, two, or three. Now this one only has ones and twos. There is a third one that has a third bar. The more bars, the quicker it resets. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna trigger the ones first, and then the twos, and then threes. Now, as they get harder, you'll also have like little bombs in here. If you, if you trigger it, and then the timer starts, and you don't get it done before the timer runs out, then you will be cursed. But the spell is broken and you can still loot the chest, right? So. One, two, three, four. Perfect. And we get a few goodies and we're good to go. We can hit the control button and the left control and that will get us running. Switch back out to our bow. The pulsing circle. Well, I don't have a pulsing circle, but that's because I don't have a quest selected. So, right now we only have one. 
So we will open that. And now you can see the circle on the mini map is yellow and it is pulsing. So now over here to our left, you see on the mini map, it's a little green dot. Well, these are shrines and these will give us protections. So different bonuses. Not sure what the bonus is. I've never looked them up. And we have a bear over here. Oh, uh, and you can go too far away and they will respawn, reset. So, I guess. So, we'll do that. You, I remember you. Hey, that dude's familiar from you're, the tutorial. You're the one. Now, I, I am going to skip back? through all the, all the you find talking me? just to make it go faster. No, the well of soul. I never wanted anyone to get hurt. So, I promise you, if I knew who it was, I'd now, tell you. Sherry get out of here, pay me. Now, in the green, this is using your persuasion skill. This is not going to be successful. So, time to die. What? Because you're a jerk. And even though we're a rogue character, we will have a little bit of magic. we go all right so we killed the bear the bear despawned he doesn't have anything on him and again on our mini map we can see some red dots now down there the way if you look at my arrow that's the way that I'm facing but you can also see the light coming off of it like the cone that's your vision so you can see down in that direction there, there's a book on the map. Well, the book is something that we can discover. So we'll go over there and figure it out. Okay, we did reset them, but we killed one. And you don't have to reset them. I wasn't meaning to do that. Dang it. All right, so he's good. We'll charge in. I'm going to hit the R button, and that's going to use one of our healing potions. I want to check the bodies, make sure none of them light up. None of them did. Uh, let's see. So there's a cave in here. So we'll go ahead and go scout the cave out. What do you think? Stone candle mine. So we will get in there. Now, the good thing about the game, you can save it at any time. So, let's see. We had... I'm going to just overwrite that one. Get out. And we will come this way. Get our bow back out. And you may have noticed against those wolves at the end... I was, ooh, trapped, so we have to look for those. Most of the time, these are spike traps. I think that's one right there, but we can't see it because we're not skilled enough. They will do some damage. 
but you may have noticed I was uh, shooting very rapidly. I was not doing the full draw, so I wasn't getting the overdraw or the charge shot. But as we build up our bow skill, that's going to be our tactic because we can. We're going to be working on building up our crit. That's going to be the goal. So here you can see the book. We're going to walk over here. And when we get close, we're near a hidden object. We can loot it. And we've got some stuff. So let's check our armor. I'm not going to wear robes. I'm not magic. Blocking doesn't do me any good. That's blocking, blocking and mana. So again, whatever you're using will be you know, dependent on what you're going to be leveling up in. So, uh, let's see. I don't need... Actually, that does four fire. All I want to carry a staff for is the burning webs, if we ever run into them. Uh, you can also use a scepter that shoots fire, but the ice doesn't do me any good. But it does do more damage, so just on the off chance... I need to use it, you know, to use it for anything in combat. We'll Okay. Uh, these guys do throw Try to get one charge shot. And you can see it does a little bit of a stagger. There we go. So we took a little bit of damage, but not a lot. And we do pick up a little bit of loot here. And you see, they just appeared out of nowhere. And that happens. Don't let it throw you. And the good thing is, the game kind of levels up with you. So you, you know, you'll never really outpace the game. I'll light him up with the magic. That'll help us a little bit. Again, I don't, you know, I won't use magic a lot, especially once I get going, but every little, every time, you know, every little bit helps. So we're going to look at our map, and then we want to go local. So we're coming this way, and we're going to end up coming all the way around. So let's take the right. We may, this may be a dead end. I don't remember. All right, nothing up here. Just looking around, always, always trying to be observant for anything that might be here. All right, we have a hard chest. So I've only got a lockpick skill of two. This is a hard one. But I started right where it opened up. Boom, it was all good. And we just picked up a new bow. So I don't need the hammer, either hammer. And let's go ahead and compare. Now, one of the things to keep in mind when you're looking at the DPS here, this includes damage over time. But this damage over time does not stack. So I may hit him with six shots. Well, that's only going to do the 18 times six plus three. Does that make sense? So you have to kind of figure it out yourself, but still more physical, more piercing, plus lightning, and then we get a little kicker on top. So we are going to equip that one. 
And we're going to add that one to junk. And we have gotten us a better bow. And you can see it has a little lightning charge on it. So that's cool. All right, we're going to run back. So that was a dead end. Check everything because you never know where containers or see, you know, secret passages or anything else. Taking a little bit of damage here. And we did dodge out of the way of that one that one uh, that he threw at us. So that's good. Now I could take another healing potion, but I am gonna wait. Let's see if there's anything back in this corner. Alright, a mine cart that we can loot. A hardy scepter. Now the thing about scepters, especially if you're uh, a mage, I've read that they're not good to use because they actually use up your mana, whereas a staff does not. But uh, if we take a look at the weapon, uh, there is a scepter. Basically it's a wand, is what it is, and it does... Now see, that does 7 fire damage, so I can actually get rid of the staff and keep that. Eh, not a big deal. All right. And again, we're going to save before we go into this room. Always prudent to save. You know, we're not playing a, a permadeath game or anything. But we can see here there's a large room here. We do have three kobolds over there. Now, there is going to be a point later on that we will open up a skill that, just like we have an arrow that shows the direction we're facing, they will turn into arrows as well, and you can see what direction they're facing. And you can see in stealth mode, now we can't... just finish him off all right you know what's interesting I am not getting any fate here oh it's because I don't have a fate yet all right you'll figure out what that is soon enough if you've seen uh, my tutorial you've already seen it all right so some rivets and some bark Nothing super fancy. We're going to run around here just to check everything. Alright, we do have a corpse. And we've gotten a gem. An average chest. Again, there's a... No Ooh, hello. A purple? What is that? It's a robe. Oh, and I'm not a magic user. All right, well, that is a very nice robe. I have not gotten that drop. And these are all randomly generated, right? And let's see. Glowing staff. I don't need that. Because I'm not using magic. Now, you may want ice if you're a mage, but carry something with fire because that is what you need to get through webs. And there will be places in the game that are blocked, as you saw earlier. All right, so we're gonna get to this jump point. We're gonna jump down. 
All right, now there's a trap right there. Do you see it? The little bear trap. If we had the skill, we got up close to it, we could disarm it. But you just have to kind of be careful or you're going to step in it. Okay, now you saw what happened there. Right about here, we started getting that little shaking, which means the pick's going to break. I didn't let off the D key, P key in time, so it broke. But that means we're a good ways away. So let's switch it over to the other side. And there you go. So as I said, you'll normally be able to get through every trap with one or two lock picks at the most. All right, there's where we came in. So let's go ahead and hop out. Back out to Alistair Glade. And we're coming up on uh, 30 minutes. So let's go ahead and put a break in right here. We'll call that the end of episode one and we'll come back for episode two uh next time please consider giving this a like the more likes on a first video the more people will see it and of course then that helps my channel out thank you very much oh fm union welcome to the channel new subscriber uh here in the last week thank you very much he may not be watching this because he's an fm guy i'm sure with that name but uh, I do need to mention it over there as well. So uh, hit the like button. Let me know what you think of the game in the comments. And uh, if you have any questions at all, of course, you know I'll try to help you out as best I can. And uh, subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.